Last week we did a tutorial on how to make the scribble animation effects from the Bruno Mars That's What I Like video clip. Now it's got so many positive reactions, so first of all, thank you guys so much for that. Now many of you were also asking how we kind of did the time remapping, or how Bruno kind of does it. Now it's done more dynamically, it's not just speeded up, so we're going to have a look in this tutorial on how to dynamically time remap the dance moves from Bruno Mars. What's up you guys, Jordy here for Cinecom.net and Jenik is again ready to push out some dance moves from Bruno. So I've got a clip right here from Jenik Mars, I'm going to drag that here into the new item menu to create a new sequence from that. So right here you've got Jenik, he's kind of dancing slow, there's not really power into it and that's exactly what we want to create. So first of all what we could do is like right click on this clip, head over to speed and duration and just kind of speed this up. So for example set this to 150% and when we're going to play this now we kind of have some more power to it, it all goes faster. The dynamic part is where some movements are going faster as other movements and that technique is called time remapping. So I'm just going to undo this action and let's locate that option, time remapping. By selecting your clip and heading over to the effects controls here, you will see that we have an option down below here called time remapping. Now we could do that time remapping right in here, but there's actually a more convenient way to do that, and that is by, I'm just going to scroll here in my timeline here on video track number one, just scroll, or you can also just grab that here on top and kind of just push that open, because we are going to create these keyframes on the actual clip. Now to reveal them, you want to click on the FX button right here, right click on that, and that will kind of reveal a menu from which you can select a parameter to show itself on that clip. And of course we're going to select time remapping speed. And you can see that it kind of changes here, we're getting this little line here in the middle, and this here is what we're going to use. So let me just zoom in a bit more. Now let's start from the beginning here. Jenik here is clapping his hands together. And the idea we want to do is every time that Jenik is going to make a move, that we're going to speed that up. In this case, this clap is going to be a lot more powerful if you are going to speed that up towards that clap. So go stand on that last point where he's almost clapping. And we're going to create a keyframe here on this line. And you can either do that by clicking here on this keyframe button to add a keyframe. And you can see that it kind of appears here on top. And I'm gonna make that a lot bigger so you can definitely see that well. Now this keyframe works very different as normal keyframes. What we're actually doing here is splitting the clip into two parts. We've got a left part now and we've got a right part. You can also see that with the dashed line right here. And this allows us to kind of speed up the left part or slow it down or do that with the right part. In this case, we want to speed up the left part and we can do that by just dragging this line up. And you can see down below here the percentage as well of how much that you are speeding that up. So let's just pick something around 170. This is something that you have to play with as well to kind of feel how much that you want to speed that up. So let's play this now. You can see that the clap now is a lot more powerful as it's going pretty fast. And so like I said before, you can always go back in here and kind of speed that up a bit more if you think that would be better. Now we're seeing a very big drop here in speed, and this is not so fluent. So what you want to do is kind of open this keyframe up, and you can just kind of do that from standing on either the left or the right side of that keyframe, and just drag that open. And here you can see that now the drop is not so harsh anymore. It, it will kind of slowly fade back to the normal speed. That's what it does right here. You can also see this lever here, this is something that you can tweak in even more. By just turning that lever, you can kind of change the curve on how the speed kind of has to change within that keyframe. And this is basically what time remapping is all about. You know, the clap should look a bit better now. We're gonna take a quick break for the sponsor's message who makes it all possible that we can spend so much time into YouTube. Music has the ability to amplify the impact of your film trailer, taking it from intriguing to unforgettable, from building orchestral cues to powerful electronic anthems. Premium Beat have put together a selection of royalty-free music that's designed with your promos and trailers in mind. Check out the link in the description below or head over to premiumbeat.com to get listening. Welcome back folks. So right before he goes with his arms to that second pose, you want to create another keyframe. Now we could do that again by clicking on the keyframe button, but there's an easier way and that is by holding down your control key or for the Mac users, hold down your command key and then click on that line and that will create a keyframe as well. So that way you can kind of work a bit faster. We're going to go further in time where Jenning is going to go to his next pose right here, create a new keyframe. And in between that, we're going to speed that up again by just moving this line up. Now, if you want to be on an exact percentage, like now we are at 177, and you want to be exactly on, let's say, 200%, but it's not so easy to kind of 
aim for that. What you can also do is hold down your shift key while you're moving this light up and down. That way you can easily go to that 200% as it will kind of snap to certain values. Now, like we've done before, we also want to ease in and ease out this time change. And those who've been following me for a longer period know that how much I hammer on this to always ease in and ease out your keyframes. It makes any animation go a lot smoother and look more professional. And this is kind of how we are going to continue doing this. Of course, it's also a combination of the music. Um, I'm not allowed to use the music. I'm not even allowed, by the way, to show a screencast of YouTube of the Bruno Mars video clip. Because here's a fun fact, the video that we did last week was kind of claimed by Bruno's networks, Sony Pictures, etc. And now all the revenue that we're making from the AdSense goes to them. And the speed change doesn't always have to be the same. Sometimes you can see that I'm just speeding up a little and on other points, I may speed it up more. And those choices are made on Janik's movement. So right here, he's kind of making just a very little movement. So if I would speed up this too much, it will look kind of weird. But right here, he's kind of making a big movement. So that's why I'm kind of speeding up that more. Now in between as well, you don't always have to go back to the normal speed. You can also say like between two speed ups, if I can name it like that. I'm also going to speed it up a little bit, but not as much as the other two. So uh, here you can see kind of the curve that we're doing. You really have to look for kind of a balance where it kind of stays natural, but you still feel like not everything is speeded up the same way. And again, like I said before, I find this to work the best when he's kind of doing movements towards a specific pose. So that is like right here where he's kind of moving his arm and this here is his pose. So in between here, I'm going to speed that up as well. Now, very often you can also use these ease outs here to kind of go into the next movement. Let me just show you what I mean by that. So very quickly after his next pose here, he's already moving to the next one. So there's not much time here in between to kind of sit back on that 100%. So that's why I'm just going to go immediately to the next speed by moving this up. And now I'm kind of using this uh, intersection right here as the transition to the next speed. So as you can see, I'm working in steps here. I'm going faster and faster. And each time I'm having that transition here, and you can always change, by the way, the length of that transition. Oops, let me just zoom in a bit more here, like that. You can always like make that larger, that ease in or, or, or ease or whatever. Or you can also stand in the middle and kind of move that point to a new position. So let me just play this and it looks pretty nice. Sometimes you want to go back in here, make changes, then play it again until you find the right time remapping. Then here on the next pose, I'm going to bring the time back down. You can see that he's doing a very minor movement here, so I don't want it to speed it up that much. So I'm just gonna move that transition as well, a bit more to the left, so that his hand work here, where it's going up and down, is more at a normal speed. You know, small movements speed it up, that just looks funny. And you wanna make a serious dance movie here. You know, Jenning is really considering to compete with Bruno and uh, just beat him off his throne so that he can complain about his video clip and kind of complain about the copyright and stuff. So he's moving to the finger snap right here. Also, this is a movement that we want to speed up. And now I'm going to go a bit faster. He snaps right there. Just speed that up. Ease in, ease out. Snap. This is also a movement that we want to speed up. And I'm going to use the same technique here as I did before. After the first speed up, I'm going to go immediately to the next speed up, like so. And this looks pretty awesome. And in his final movement here, this point here, I definitely want to speed up again. Bang, look at that. Isn't he one awesome dancer? So let's have a look. Always check your work after you've done some time remapping. And this looks pretty awesome. And there's one last thing that we can do. It's not done in the Bruno Mars's video, I believe. Um, that is kind of add a motion blur to it because we've been playing with the speed of this clip. So that means the motion blur should change as well. And uh, there's one easy way to do that. That is just by right clicking on your video, head over to time interpolation and choose frame blending. And that will kind of create new frames in between. You can kind of see his hands here ghosting. As you can see, let me just zoom in a little bit. There it is, this ghost. So Premiere is kind of making new frames in between to uh, make it all smoother, adding motion blur to it. This is something that you don't have to do, but I'm just saying it as a nice tip so that it kind of looks more motionist. Like any tutorial, you can download the project file. There's a link in the description below, or you can also just click here on this button. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you like this video, to subscribe, and don't forget, stay creative.